Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very tasty uh, it's a recipe. It is a puri aloo curry. Uh, this is just like a restaurant style aloo curry recipe. Hope you will like it. Please do try this at home and let me know how it is and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. Now here in a pan I have taken um, 2 tablespoons of oil and I'm and I'm adding 1 teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of urad dal and 1 teaspoon of chana dal and uh, 2 red chilies and few curry leaves and in that I am adding uh, 3 green chilies also for the spices you can add uh, chilies according to your taste and in this I am adding uh, 2 large onions and we need to fry this for another uh, few minutes like uh, maybe 4 to 5 minutes and I am going to add a little bit of uh, 1 teaspoon of salt in this and half teaspoon of turmeric if you put salt uh, for frying the onions, the onions will cook fast. Don't cook too much the onions, it has to be half cooked, that's it. Don't make it uh, too much cook. And in the meanwhile, I'm adding uh, 2 tablespoons of gram flour or chickpeas flour uh, with the water. Just make it a thin paste, it, mix it well without forming any lumps. Just keep this aside and here the onions are almost done in this I'm adding four potatoes this is boiled and mashed potatoes I have boiled these potatoes and mashed made into small pieces and I'm mixing well with this just fry for uh, two minutes that's it I am adding half a teaspoon of uh, red chilli powder but it's optional if you don't want you can skip if you are uh, fine with the green chilies with that spice it's okay uh, I am adding because uh, I want little spicy and I am adding little water so that it doesn't get burnt the masalas and now I am adding the chickpeas flour water in this and mix it well otherwise it will get curdled mix it well and uh, I'll add uh, one more cup of water with this and you have to keep on stirring in between so that it doesn't uh, curdle and let it cook for another four minutes till the raw smell goes this is a very easy recipe you can just make it for your dinner for puri for chapati or it does it looks it tastes good for uh, dosa also you can try it it's very easy same like in restaurant style See, this is almost done and I'm adding uh, some uh, coriander leaves also and the gravy is also getting thick so you can see the onions are still raw it has to be like that you get that uh, light sweet taste with the uh, onions See, this is almost done the curry is almost done here you go the potato curry this is a very tasty recipe you have to try this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications and share my videos if you like it